Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, let us come to your word in the best spirit, in the hopeful spirit, in in an authentic sense of where we're at. Lord, keep us from the foolishness of trying to hide anything from you. But let us find our peace in you as we look for ways to be trustworthy and offer trustworthiness to the people around us in our life. Lord, we pray for those people who look to us to be an example. Help us to be a better example to them. And Lord, help us to care for your creation. We ask, Lord, for an awareness, a better awareness than we've shown or conducted um, when it comes to the care of this planet. We ask for the ability to hold one another accountable. And Lord, the, the courage to stand fast to what is true, and in that truth to stand forth before the lies of the world. Lord, we ask this day for the best understanding of your word as we share it together, as we share this prayer, as we seek to live out this good news that we're about to read that all of your scripture may be guiding in our lives and a declaration to the world of your love. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 12 at verse 13, where it reads, For what, it, for what is it, it written wherein ye were inferior to other churches, except it be that I myself was not burdensome to you, Forgive me this wrong. That's Paul in his usual tongue-in-cheek. But what he is saying is sometimes we as churches, as people that are in congregation before the Lord, look with envy on other gatherings, other gathering places, and come up with the false idea that um, our version of church is somehow not as good as someone who has maybe a bigger building or more people attending. Or If we were to content ourselves that our congregation is for the gathering of worship on that given day, what God has called together, not to be put down, not to be insulted, but to be who we are as best in our faith as we can be and still strive to offer the gospel in, in the goodness we have. Our idea of what makes a church inferior is not usually God's idea of what makes a church inferior. And to think little of ourselves when God is offering us much, when God is working much in us, insults God with our own understanding of what is right and good. So if your church is not filled with youth and it doesn't have all the contemporary uh, music playing and uh, the lighting system is just enough to keep lights on from the dark and uh, your building's not modern and it has uh, uh, an, an older uh, entryway and it doesn't fit with modern trends or it's not a cathedral Whatever your church isn't, celebrate what God makes it to be, what God's Holy Spirit is at work in you doing, and work from there. And if you are meant to grow, you will grow. If you're meant to change, you will change. In all things, whatever your congregation, whatever your gathering of church is, let it most of all be praise unto God and glory in the good news we have in Jesus Christ. And that's church enough. God bless and encourage and strengthen you. Amen.